Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing off my builds for the GS Diecast Creations Double Trouble Build Off. This build is to celebrate the birth of Jane Amanda's twin daughters, which was back in April. Um, unfortunately this video is a bit late just because I've had things going on I've mentioned before. Um, but I finally got the video done. Um, so yeah, the theme for this build was to build something that had double in it. Um, you could build two cars. Or you could build a vehicle that had twin engines. Um, they were having twin daughters, but they weren't identical, so they didn't have to be identical builds. So around this time, I was actually building a vehicle that was 132 scale, which was two vehicles combined into one, which gave me the inspiration for this build. The idea being that since Jay and Amanda both have different car tastes, I'd build something that was both 50-50. Jay likes classic American muscle, Amanda likes Ferraris, so why not make a car that was 50% Ferrari, 50% classic muscle car? Kind of like how their daughters are 50-50 Jay and Amanda. So for the build I tracked down this Matchbox Ferrari 308 GTB and this Hot Wheels 69 Camaro. Off camera I cut both cars in half, um, mostly because I was going to do a specific thing as you can see here where I'm turning the convertible into a hardtop and the hardtop into a convertible. <laughs> Sadly the cars are a bit out of scale, I did try and look for some more cars but this is the best I could find unfortunately so I just had to use what I had. So I start with the base plates and basically glue both halves of those together. So after this I cut out the front section of the Ferrari so I could have a place to put the engine. Um, originally I was going to put the engine where the trunk section of the Camaro was but I decided it would be easier just putting it where the rear seats were. Um, likewise for the other car I cut a hole in the front so the engine could stick out the hood on the Camaro and then cut a hole in the back of the Ferrari so I could stick an engine there. I also removed the doors from this one just because I felt it would look better without the doors. So next to move on to the wheels, uh, for this I just used a set of Camsell Designs 40mm fatties, um, tie type 5, rim type 12. Originally I was going to replace all four wheels but I kind of wanted to go with the idea of the cars were hastily put together so I kept the original front wheels and then just replaced the rear wheels with the Camsell ones. So to build the axles I used some serine tubing and then just glued these to the base plate like so. After this I wanted to add more detail underneath, kind of like a you know, transfer case and all the drive chairs and such. Um, here's one I've already done and this is kind of just me building it out of various bits of tubing and stirring um, just to kind of give the look that it was a four wheel drive vehicle. So next I went onto the drivers which was actually quite a headache, um, I had to try several different things uh, as I don't really have that many female drivers, in fact most of the drivers I use are World War II drivers, they're all dudes. So I do have some survivors, uh, zombie survivors, um, which I use as crew figures. Um, and so I thought I'd hack one up and I tried several different attempts uh, which I didn't film because it's just become a tiresome trial and error process. But eventually I came up with a good idea of cutting off the arms and the legs of the female figures and then replacing them with the arms and the legs 
with the World War II driver figures that I had and kind of Frankenstein to kind of something that looked like a driver. So I use some green stuff to kind of fill in the holes and try to make them look a little less Mon uh, Frankenstein. Um, and it does work, um, obviously without paint they just don't look that right, but once I've painted them they do look good. So for the next part of the build I was kind of limited on engines as I only have so many 3D printed part ones and so many that I can salvage from other vehicles. So I kind of want to get the idea of making some moulds of some engines so I can kind of mass produce my own little engines. So for this one I was going to use some green stuff which is a two part putty, basically yellow and blue. You mix it up and it's kind of like a consistency of plasticine but it's very sticky. So once the green stuff was mixed up to a nice consistent green, like you see a little ball that I've got here already ready made up. Um, you want to take some cooking oil and just kind of put it on whatever you're going to make a mold of. Uh, this kind of acts as a so this will act like a releasing agent and stop the green stuff from bonding with whatever you're making the mold out of. Um, you do have to apply some pressure though, um, just to make sure you get all the nook and crannies. And this isn't exactly the best way to make a mold, but it's the only way I know of, and I do want to experiment with some more in the future. But for now, I'm just going to use what I know. So this will take about 6 hours, it says to cure, I left it for 24. Um, after which I took out the original endings, um, coated the inside of the mould with some oil again, mixed up some more green stuff and filled it in. And here you can see me pulling out the finished engines. These aren't exactly the best, there's some holes here and there and there's a lot of cleanup work to be done. But for a quick and easy method of making it molds of parts this is the best i found so far i thought again i do need to experiment with some of the other techniques at some point so next i move on to the making these panels to kind of make it look like the bodies are kind of being bolted together with some metal panels uh, for this i just took some cut some rectangle strips out of some styrene and then bent these to shape and glued them in place although it was a little fiddly as you can see here uh, with super glue. So I also cut up some styrene rod for the rivets and attach them to the panels. Whilst this was driving I glued in the engines for the other car, I decided to use one engine from my bits box and one of the pre-made engines that I made up from the moulds earlier. After this obviously I went back and did the other car and decided to use two engines from the molds I built for this car. Uh, unfortunately this engine, the air scoop didn't quite turn out so well, so in the end I ended up just grabbing one of the air scoops from the Autokill air intake sprue, although I did have to cut it down to fit the top of the engine.
so next I decided to scratch all some radiators so I took some corrugated styrene and some H-shaped styrene just to kind of go around the top of it So after which I did these exhausts from the North Star military figures implements of Carnage Sprue uh, for the, just for the front engine now because obviously it's separate engines, separate exhausts I did the same for the other car, though I used the exhaust from the auto kill pipe sprue. Going back to the open top car, I built a roll cage out of some square styrene rod. Next I wanted some extra fog lights and such for the vehicles, so I decided to make, mix these up. So for this I just used two different sizes of styrene rod, um, basically cut them and then use a smaller section. Use the bigger section as the body of the light and the smaller section as the light cover. Um, as you can see, it's a little hard to see on the camera here, um, but it's easy to see once the model is done. I also did, did the same thing with some round styrene rods so I added some variety because again I wanted to make it look like these lights have been salvaged from other wrecked cars in the wastes. So since the Ferrari actually had flip up headlights I kind of wanted to model those in. For this I just took some styrene uh, square rod again and just cut some cheese wedge like shapes as well as a few little small rectangles and then glue them in place like you can see So this was the last of the build unfortunately, um, I was running out of time and I still had to paint these things so I just kind of rushed ahead with the build and I'm just going to do a quick run through what I did on the build on each vehicle. So first I set to make some push bars and just made them up some styrene some rod. I also added the fog lights I built earlier in various places. Um, I also put on 250 cal machine guns again from the North Star military figures implements of Kainish Sprue. Um, also took some styrene tubing and then added these to the back for the rear e engine's exhausts. For the other car again I built the same kind of push bars front and back and I did some more of the uh, fog lights. I also added some mesh to the front windshield, um, used a set of dual, used a set of dual mini guns from the North Side military figures and went to carriage sprue. Um, and then use some exhaust from an old bone shaker that I'd cut up for another build for the rear engine here. So here we are with the final builds. Now I did record me painting these but unfortunately this video is kind of getting on a bit long and I just don't want to be too long so I just kind of cut that out. I didn't really do anything special for the paint, I just did my standard painting method. Um, so 
didn't really feel it needed to be included in this video, especially since it was getting so long. So I hope both Jay and Amanda enjoyed the video and that they're both doing fine now that the whole family's home. I'm uh, looking forward to hearing from you soon when you are back to uploading on, your, on Jay's channel. So as for this build, I do want to practice making some more moulds for parts just because it's easier and cheaper. Um, as well as I do want to get doing some more builds where I'm cutting up vehicles and combining them to make something unique. Um, I've wanted to do this for a while but I've always held off because I always feel I'm going to do it wrong and then just may end up with a mash of parts and nothing usable. So as usual, it'll be a nice little slideshow of the glamour shots. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.